Thomas Condon sat in court with his attorney, Louis Serkin. Some of Condon's family sat behind him in support. Meanwhile, some of the family members of the deceased sat on the other side of the courtroom. Serkin made the case for Condon's expungement to Judge Terry Nestor. I believe that in the 24 years that have existed since, he's proven himself that, that he's rehabilitated and that he's not a threat to society. We understand the pain and suffering that people have undergone, um, but in other words, we were brought up to, to learn in justice to be forgiving. Serkin says Condon meets all the legal requirements for his conviction to be expunged. He went on to say that Condon's criminal background is preventing him from gaining meaningful work. Now, at the time, Condon approached leaders at the Hamilton County Coroner's Office about, about the art project that he wanted to do, but those leaders said no. But Condon was actually hired for a separate video project. Despite being told no, though, Condon took the pictures anyways. Now, keep in mind, this was a time before digital cameras existed, and Condon was discovered when he actually went to get the film developed. A worker at the photo lab reported the pictures to his boss, who then notified police. Now, officers then had to reach out to the loved ones to confirm the identities of the deceased people in the photos. This picture should not have been seen by anybody. It was a terrible picture. When my sister-in-law, his wife, had to come and identify this picture, it was of the last picture she saw of her husband. And keep in mind, these pictures were not portraits. These were gruesome fo fo photographs of all these people that these uh, families then had to relive. Now, Judge Terry Nestor says that he will take uh, today's testimony as well as some written letters that he's received from other family members under advisement and then make a decision in the coming days. And as soon as that's announced, we'll let you know. Paula, back to you. Thank you, Christian. The case also led to a multi-million dollar lawsuit and settlement. Hamilton County paid $8 million to more than 500 families in 2007. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.